Welcome everyone, this is Dina Fallick from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you today how to create web tabs and tab groups in Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the key takeaways for today's video. First, web tabs allow you to give users easy access to websites they may use frequently. Uh, and what, what you'll see is that at the same area where they can pick, uh, go to a module, they can just go to a web tab. Maybe it's an intranet for your company or just something that they're accessing um, frequently. And then tab groups allow you to customize the modules users can see and um, easily access just to, to make things cleaner for them. So let's go into Zoho and I can show you um, what we mean. So first of all, um, from the home screen, you can go into the tools and then you'll find access to both tab groups and web tabs when you go to modules and fields under customization. And then you have the web tabs and the tab groups. So the web tabs, as you can see, they're, um, you can have them listed here. You could have up to 25. And what's showing here is the tab name as well as the link to the website. And you can see here at the top, Mark's Group is one of the uh, web pages. And if you click on that, you take into the Mark's Group uh, website page. If the, if the uh, web tab that you're looking for isn't there, you can go ahead and um, find it along the side as well. And here is CNN and um, this one, not all, not all web uh, work, not all uh, websites will work, so, but Mark's group does, and there, there may be some other ones that are easy to work as well. So just to go back into the customization and the modules and fields, go to web tabs, just to show you how you can create your own. You go to create new uh, web tab, and then you can go here, and um, I just want to show you uh, what I mean by some don't work. Google is one. You can either set the source as a link or as a widget where you'd have to um, either create the widget and then have it available. We're going to do it as a link. We're going to do this. Uh, then you can decide who has access, which profiles. So we have the standard and the administrator I just added. You can press save, and this is where it's going to show you that not all websites are available. In this case, Google is not, so we can't save this one. But as you can see, we've saved several other ones that you can use. And again, you can find them as you would any other module. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that these web tabs, these websites, are in no way integrated with any of the other modules. So it's really there more for convenience than it is as something that's going to integrate with the rest of your CRM system. So now let's move on to, uh, on to tab groups. Now before we move on to tab groups though, I'm going to go to user control and control and security control and just remind you of some of the security controls we have um, that are just make it easier to set up permissions at a group level rather than always doing it at the individual level. So as you know, we have the administrator, we have the standard. Um, those are the two that come with Zoho. And then you can create other, um, other profiles so you can customize what people have access to. So for instance, if we go to a salesperson profile, you can see that for leads, they can view, credit, uh, create, or edit them. But you can see here, you, they can't delete them. And there's various permissions on all of the different modules. And as in the case here with classes, that's not a module that the salesperson profile can see. So this is important when you see how we go about setting up the tab groups. So if you go under customization, again, modules and fields, and at the top you have modules, tab groups, and web tabs. And you're going to choose tab groups now. And as you can see, you can set a group name and then you can set which tabs they have available to them. So the, uh, the uh, sales group, you have the name there, and then you have all of the different modules that are um, 
attached to that role. And then you can set which profiles, the salesperson profile and the sales manager profile, have access to this one. The marketing group, uh, you can see that they have campaigns. They have a few different ones. And again, it's marketing, salesperson, and sales manager that have access. You can have up to 25 tab groups. And I'll show you how you can create one. Let's set up a website website group. And maybe this one we only want to have the home, the feeds, and uh, maybe in this one, the sales inbox and documents. And for this one, um, let's say we want this one to be for product management. And we can do save here. So now that we have these set up, you may be asking, well, how do I get to them? Now, if you come up in the top left and you see the three lines, you can click on the three lines next to the home, and you can see that you have the different tab groups. And as you can see, you can choose the sales one, and this is, you can see what you see there. You can choose the marketing one, which is a little bit different. And then the website group, I purposely set this up with fewer so you can see the difference. And um, then all tabs is where you have everything show, obviously with the elliptic, you know, the, the three dots as well. Now, one thing to note, if you go to the sales group, um, they can't, when you click on those three dots as if you were going to see more, they can't see more because this, the uh, tab group is set up to only include these modules. Website group is the same. They, you can't add more of those as well. And um, just another um, little tip here from here you can create a new tab group similar to what we did before and then also you can manage the tab groups um, so you can you know decide what you want to do how, which ones you want to make visible etc pretty much the same as this customization screen I'm going to put this back to all tabs um, so depending on the profile of the person if they have access to multiple tab groups they can decide which way they want to work with this and which groups they want to have. And the real purpose of this is both security, but also just to keep it clean and not clutter up someone's Zoho with more than they may need to see. So now let's go back to uh, cover our key takeaways. So as I showed you, web tabs allow you to give users easy access to websites that they may use frequently. And tab groups allow you to customize the modules users can view and easily access. And again, this is both can be for security purposes or it can just be to keep things cleaner um, for the user and only give them access to what they truly need to use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our video library for other videos like this one. And if you have any suggestions for other classes, um, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com and you can also use that email for any questions you may have. Thank you.